Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Black. I'm Ball. And it's this long. This is the follow-up video to uh, the TED Talk, KCJ. The uh, KCJ TED Talk that we watched. KCJ. I swear I heard someone say KCJ. Right, it's up there on the title. You're saying Cassie J. No, I heard someone else say her name and they said Casey J. I am looking dead ass at her name on the top of the screen right now. I know. Cassie J. I'm telling you what I heard, though. Okay. And you read the name and you said what you said. Have you heard someone else say her name? Have you heard her say her name? I have heard people get my name wrong. You know how my name is spelt, and so I have you, been called Cassie. So you're saying that you haven't heard anyone else say her name? I have no, I've only ever heard myself say her name out loud. That's my point. <laughs> you're the only one that has seen, that has said the name like that compared to the other people I have heard say her name. Then why is it spelt that way? No, I can't tell you that, but... I will tell you this, you can have a name that is spelled um, L hyphen. <laughs> well, then where's the wait, italic wait, wait, above wait, the A there, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Because you can have a name that is spelled L hyphen S-H-A and have it pronounced Ladasha. <laughs> That's a very different thing. <laughs> no, it ain't. Despite how, despite how you see Hold the on. name written, no, 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 it depends no, no, no. on how they chose to pronounce it. I could, you could literally write on a birth certificate WGWDHYFT and say that the person's parking. name is Jonathan. <laughs> we have high, we have the English language very clear distinctions on how a word is supposed to be pronounced. And you think people care about that when they have their names? <laughs> When they spell them out the way that they do, yes. Well, you're not going to correct her parents. You're not going to correct her parents and call her something different. Well, let's have a look. See what, who, how does she pronounce her name? How does she pronounce her name? Because that's the most important bit, isn't it? Yes, that is the most important bit. And I'm guessing that she would pronounce her names, the, her name, the way that it was called when their parents would talk to her. Okay. Let me see if I can find her saying her name. <laughs> Hi, my name is. Is better applause than I expected in Calgary. So thank you. I don't know if any of you remember, but last year there was a. A screening that was supposed to happen here, and it was canceled due to angry protesters, and uh, a lot of misinformation was spread in the media here about the film by people who had never watched the film. Hi, my name is. Uh, but this is my first time in Calgary, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, so first off, thank you to Mesa, mm -hmm. the Men's Education Support Association, for hosting this screening. Hi, my name is. Me to speak, as well as Dr. Warren Farrell. He'll be speaking after uh, my talk and, and maybe a quick intermission after my talk as well. Hi, my name is. Uh, so thank you all for being here. And uh, could I raise of hands, how many was this your first time watching the film? Wow. I'm shocked. I thought it was mostly going to be Hi, people who have seen it online. What? My name is who? My name is? Um, Amazon Prime, iTunes, Hulu. Uh, <laughs> so I, I do want to be respectful to... I don't think she's going to say her name. First time because I know it's a lot to take in. We might have a better shot of finding a news so article on her, a news video on her. No, because that will be someone else saying her name. Right now. Also, if you haven't seen my TEDx talk online, please, please, please go watch that. It's the most concise, accurate summary of what it was like making this film and, and the transformation I went through mm -hmm. going from being a staunch feminist to finding compassion for men's issues. Mm -hmm. So please watch my TEDx talk on YouTube. It's called Meeting My Enemies. Uh, so I have a few things I want to cover and He's not gonna say her name on afterwards this video. I'll open the floor to questions, but I figured it'd be best if I just answer some of the most frequently asked questions that I get. Ma'am, so please. Right in. 
what was the best part and worst part of making this film? Let me find hold another up, video. Hold up, hold up. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. <clears throat> you know, go to her channel. Maybe there's an introduction. Maybe. One in three American women. And equal rights for women in the United States. Have been found guilty of raping a West Virginia teenager. Misogynist rantings would be at home in the far reaching internet subculture widely described as the men's rights movement. Declaring the month of October to be bash a violent month. I decided to go where no feminist has gone before and meet these men's rights activists. Men and boys are in crisis and they need your support because they are human beings too. And you will not shame anybody you know, here I've never seen silence about it no, anymore. Think about it. It's been, it's, uh, it's highly recommended apparently. Society survived based on its ability to train well, it's itself highly hated. disposable. <laughs> The U.S. government does not want to send you to die. It would rather send me to die. Ninety-three percent of workplace fatalities are men. Four of five suicides. The family court system truly is biased against men. I mean, there's just no question about it. How can anybody not be angered by it? But if you start to talk about those issues, people get hostile. Men, you are f***ing scum. We're somehow disempowered because we're white men. Maybe it's just because you're pathetic. The paradigm Jesus. that most people live by. Men have all the power. Women don't make the same money for the same work. That is feminist training. Flexibility in roles is where we should be all headed. So where do the men's movement and feminism disagree? Is the men's rights movement the gender version of the white nationalist movement? I don't think she's about to say her name right there. I'm gonna. I don't. I, I don't expect to find anything off of this. I'm surprised we didn't hear it on our TED talk. Here we go. Hold up. Someone's gonna say her name here. Now, the director of controversial documentary The Red Pill is in Australia to promote her film, which has sparked protests and been banned by Australian cinemas for being anti-women. But Cassie J claims that she was a feminist who. Now this person said Cassie J. Yeah, but. That was still someone else, not her. She's not going to say her name if someone already said her name, unless to correct. So let's see if she, that she's, look, I don't even think she would hop into, her name is Cassie J. Thanks everybody. Thanks for coming out. I'm black. <laughs> I'm bald. <laughs> and it's this long. We'll and see. I'm right. Ah. So we're going to try this again, but this video will probably still come up as its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what you were talking about though. It's like this. Yes, there there's some people spell their names in a weird way. I can't tell you how many different like Haley's and different Right. Uh, <laughs> I think I know at least six different versions of spell to spell Haley in the US. And it's like that does <laughs> that does not say Haley. <laughs> nope. It's like, no, that's how you pronounce it. It's like whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like spelled H E Y Hey and then L I. I'm done. But we'll okay. There's no changing it. We'll 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 see you guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> what is it?